Our next guest is a giant in the World Rugby Union. First on in the green and gold back in 1994, George Gregan went on right? to make more appearances for the Wallabies than any other player in the sport's history. Yes, the former captain has since shifted his focus from ball sports to business. He's opened up more than 20 bars and bistros, launched a fitness company and created George Gregan Foundation. Now proving that he really can juggle it all, the father of three has taken on a new project, helping parents give their kids the best possible care. What can't he do? Here to explain it all, George Gregan. George is, uh, <laughs> joins us in the studio. Nice to see you, mate. Sorry about you. that. That's right, mate. Um, looking back on those years, George, of, of rugby union, they really were the golden years for the Wallabies. Were they good years for you yeah, too? They were fantastic years. You look back and it only seems like yesterday, but it's a long time ago. Um, but it was a really special time with this really special group of men, um, great coaches, uh, and I think with Australian sport at that stage, you fed off each other. I know our Australian netball team over that period, they've continued to be world beaters. Our Australian cricket team, we, everywhere you looked when we were competing internationally as an Australian team, we had success. And I think you feed off that as an Aussie, yeah. and that was definitely a really important and special period to play for sure. Mm, an incredible sporting career since then after retiring many sports stars uh, fall from grace but you've been immune why do you think that is? I think you keep busy I think I've often been asked that question I think you're so used to a routine as an athlete or as a sports person your years mapped out your weeks are mapped out you know what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis to get yourself ready for competition so as soon as that's taken away it's like well hang on, that's what I've been doing, that's been my discipline, so you kind of got to find stuff to, to work towards, and I think that's what has probably helped me uh, post-playing, but it's not easy, the transition's never easy, yeah, because you yeah. go from doing something which you were really good at and you've worked really hard at, to something, hang on, I've got to start start again and learn new skills, apply some of the, the things that you did in sport, which will help you, but yeah, it's been interesting, but a good challenge with good people. George, sadly for a lot of Australian sports fans, uh, the success of the Wallabies in the 90s and 2000s, as we're seeing in that vision there when you played, starting to feel like a, a distant memory. What's going wrong with the Wallabies at the moment? What do you think they need to change? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a difficult one because there's just a lack of consistency. We were talking off screen weren't we, about the golf game. You get a glimpse of the player yeah. you can be. I think this Wallaby team gets a glimpse of the team they can be. They can be anyone in the world. Um, they lost that series narrowly to Ireland, but both teams scored 55 points over the, over the course of the three tests. But those big moments, you've got to learn to win those big moments, and that gives you the consistency, and you get in that winning habit. And that's what this team under Michael Checker and obviously Michael Hooper leading them needs to do, because obviously next year's the World Cup, but they're not far off, but they need to start doing it. Mm -hmm. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the business world of George Gregan. Uh, George, you went into business with your missus. Yeah. Um, straight out of footy. How's that working out? It's worked out well, but you've got to know your role. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you play good teams for like I know that's my Erica. role, and that's Erica. So, so you're vice captain. Yeah, definitely. When it comes to this business, because so, she came from she came from hotels and, and and working in restaurants when we met, and we set up our first one in '98, and that was an espresso bar. It was on Clarence Street. It's now where I think Barangaroo sort of exit is, and that was a really good learning of like how to get a good site, get good. Tr good traffic and then create a good consistent business with coffee yeah. but that was 1998 coffee everyone knows about single origin there's a so much competition but no it's been a really good journey we've sort of grown and evolved into a bit of food and beverage now as well so no but that that's definitely what my wife does that's her expertise and I, and I pull back and, and help where I need to but just don't get in the way yeah. um, now tell us about this uh, new venture that you're starting in that, that's helping parents uh, wh why are you taking this track and, and tell us about it yeah it's called juggle Street and it's a great business like we were we were approached as like Eric and myself and our family to sort of like potentially be the be the family, I guess, uh, endorsing or, or supporting it. So there's a face to it, um, and we, we totally got it straight away. Uh, David James, who's the CEO and, and managing director of the business here in Australia, he approached us and said, you know what, we want to put a face to it, and we want to put a face to it with people who are actually living it. So it's people who have busy lifestyles. You know, both parents might be working. They've got young families. Uh, they might need assistance in terms of uh, could be tutoring, it could be uh, babysitting, it could be nanny work, or vice versa. You could be in a position where you have children who, like kids are a bit older, he's a bit older than this, my son now, you might want to put them to work. So the old school of knocking on, can I walk your dogs, can I wash your cars, can I do those things in the neighbourhood, you do it on a digital platform yeah, sure. which is safe and secure and you apply for it and people either put their hand up nearby and say yes we want you we want we want you to put you to work and it's a really good way of activating the local community yeah, good stuff. Yeah, uh, some of my carers can fall like dominoes at any stage george so this app i've got to get on to mate you really do have the minus <laughs> touch a real pleasure to talk to you good stuff. Thanks, thanks for having me on george. george for more information on juggle street please head across to the daily edition website